Yo, what is up there guys, I'm the Wiz, back at it again for another video, gonna be talking some Super Smash Brothers Ultimate right here, right now, so let's get right to it. Alright, seems like a pretty appropriate time to talk about this, because of course, as you already know, the Game Awards is just a couple of days away, and of course, that's where we're gonna be getting our fifth and final character, well, for season one of the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Pass over here. Why the Game Awards? I mean, it makes logical sense over here, the Game Awards is where this all started, it's been like a year since then, so so yeah, of course, the Game Awards, where else is this going to be? So of course, the million dollar question now is, you know, who is going to be the fifth and final character? Well, that's where this topic comes into hand. And what we have over here is a topic about some leaks. You know, when it comes to any good old video games out there, there's always those leaks. And Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is no exception over here. So what we actually have right here is a list of deconfirmed characters from some of the most credible uh, leakers out there when it comes to Super Smash Bros. Now, my Mind you, these are leakers, they're leaks, so always take it with a grain of salt over here. It's just the reason why people are making a big deal about this and actually paying attention to it is because once again, it's coming from the most credible Smash Brothers leakers out there, that of course being Vergaman and Sabi over here. Now, I will say that these leakers have not been 100% correct on everything. Like, I believe Vergaman said that the first uh, DLC character was going to be a Square Enix rep, and he said like there would be Minecraft stuff, but at the moment, yeah, there's still no Minecraft any things so you know take it however way you want to but without further ado let's go through this deconfirmed list over here so starting off at number one crash bandicoot Ooh, i know that's gonna hurt some people right over there next up is doom slayer from doom which is pretty interesting seeing as how like almost all his games are you know coming to the switch so you know doom actually i could really see it happening over here and not to mention like you know the history this character has so uh, but as according to this list, Doom is not one of it. Uh, next up is Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden. Mm, okay. Tracer from Overwatch. I remember when she was going like really out there because, you know, they had that Nintendo Switch carrying case of Overwatch. But as with this list, Tracer is out. Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, which I believe actually kind of makes sense over here because don't quote me 100% on this, but I believe like there was problems with it in Japan. Like it was too mature, so they kind of like blocked it or something. So it doesn't really make sense to add a character from that series when one of your biggest like you know fan base is japan so obviously he wouldn't really make uh much sense but moving on and this one hurts me personally dante from the devil may cry series no <laughs> not your boy dante see i hope this leak stuff is fake because i'd love to have your boy dante uh in this game yo but dante gets the party started so dante is unfortunately on this list next up is gino from super mario rpg if you know me, don't really care about that guy. Sorry, I know I hurt somebody, but it's not my cup of tea. Any Resident Evil character, um... I'm going to assume it's because of the spirit board. Now, I know when it comes to Smash Brothers, a lot of people like to kind of make up rules or whatever, like, oh, this character can't be in it because of this, and this person's already this, so it can't be a character. The only 100% rule that we actually have when it comes to Smash Brothers is that the character needs to originate from a video game. It has to be a video game character, so no Goku, unfortunately, which uh, sucks because you all know if Goku was in this, we'd main the living hell out of him, so... Uh, moving on, any character from Ubisoft, so example would be Raymond, but to be honest, if Raymond was going to be in this game, I feel like he would have already been announced by now, like, what the heck's taking so long for Raymond? Uh, moving on, any character from Falcom, uh, any character from Nippin Itchy Software, and any Tails character, um... That, of course, being Lloyd. Uh, that is the list of deconfirmed characters. Whoa, those are some really big hitters. Who in the world is going to be this fifth and final character, you know? It's got to be somebody big. We need somebody with a big name to go ahead and end this with a bang. Now, one character in particular that a lot of people are talking about and a lot of people are kind of confusing it is... Um, Phoenix Wright, uh, you know, from the Ace Attorney series or whatever. Now, what Phoenix Wright? Really? Phoenix Wright? Well, here's the thing. First off, um, he has not been deconfirmed. There was a leak about Phoenix Wright, and that leak got deconfirmed. So, Phoenix Wright is still technically in here over here. Um, and Phoenix Wright, honestly, I could actually see that ha happening. Phoenix Wright does seem like that character Nintendo would kind of like to mess around with. I mean, they added a plant. They added a flipping plant into this game. Does Phoenix Wright really seem that, like, you know, far of a stretch over here? No, absolutely not. Plus, have you seen him in Marvel vs. Capcom 3? Oh, yo, actually, Phoenix Wright's a pretty cool character. I, I really like that guy in that game. So, but it's like, 
with, when it comes to a character like Phoenix Wright, is that really a big name that's gonna, like, you know, shake the internet? I mean, uh, not really. I, I would think, if anything, they'd be like, yo, they really added this guy? What? If I, I don't know. Phoenix Wright's kind of like, uh, but would I be okay with him as a character? Yeah, I'm down with Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright's a pretty cool dude. I, I, but personally, personally, I would definitely want Dante over Phoenix Wright. But hey, if it's Phoenix Wright, I can live with it. I can let that slide over here. And I still feel, feel like it could be Phoenix Wright, mainly because of this whole Resident Evil thing, because... There was a word on the street or whatever on the Twitter sphere that basically like Jill Valentine was going to be the character for Resident Evil, but apparently things didn't really work out too well. So they had to go ahead and pick somebody else. And that's why we got the spirit board things over here. But if they were so deep into like Jill Valentine and they suddenly canceled her, they need to get a character real quick. But since they're already talking to Capcom, they could be like, oh, well, since we can't use Jill, how about your boy Phoenix Wright? Don't you want Dante? Nah, take Phoenix Wright. Uh, yo, <laughs> so actually, I can I can see it being Phoenix Wright. I think his trailer would be really hilarious in the sense that you know Joker was the first character to be revealed. So what if we find out that like Joker accidentally, well, he intentionally stole um the letter from Phoenix, and now Joker's in court, and Phoenix Wright like objection this and that. That could be one of the funniest, hilarious trailers that we've ever gotten for a character. So. Phoenix Wright, I think, is a real possibility of being the fifth character. Another character that a lot of people are saying are, is Kratos? Uh, I mean, maybe. I, I, people are just saying that because, like, you know, there's no Sony representation over here. And Kratos, Kratos would be a big name. That would definitely shake the internet. Plus, I'm pretty sure God of War won Game of the Year last year or something. So, that would actually be pretty cool. You know, Game of the Year last year. And uh, now he's going to be the character in the fifth and, uh, for the fifth final character over here. That could be really interesting over here, but I feel like Kratos would be a little bit too, you know, mature or whatever for Smash Bros. But then again, hey, we got Snake, we got Bayonetta, so Nintendo always manages to surprise us somehow. And we got Cloud Strife in this game, even though we only have two soundtracks or whatever, but still, you got Cloud Strife fighting Sonic the Hedgehog. What? So, I mean, I don't know. Kratos is a possibility. I feel like Sackboy would be kind of better in a sense just because he's a little bit more kid friendly or even knack yo let's get knack in this <laughs> but of course you know people like spyro i i don't think spyro would get in before crash i would actually prefer spyro over crash that's just me though i know i'm gonna get some hate for that over here but you know to all their own over here or you know how about lara croft well she's a female that'd be great because this roster is a giant sausage fest at the moment oh but we got kazooie I guess, but no one's really been talking too much about Lara Croft. So, I mean, the Sony character could happen. Maybe it's a possibility. Just having a Sony rep in general would definitely bring buzz to the stadium. So, you know, uh, that's a possibility. Moving on, someone that I would actually really like to see in this game, and I don't know why it hasn't happened yet, Sean Tay. Get your girl Sean Tay in here. Can we get a, please get a female character in this pass over here? Sean Tay is like one of those characters, like, you know, oh, I want Ridley, I want King K. Rule, I want, like, like come on. Sean Tay definitely is in that category. She's got such a great moveset that could totally happen, but now I'm a little bit worried because we have, you know, this whole Smash is for good boys and girls over here. So, Shantae, I mean, like, I think they could make it. I, 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 I don't know. Like, it could work, maybe not, but I would really love Shantae to be in this. I, I think Shantae would be a big enough name to go ahead and make a splash because she's, like I said, she's like King K. Rule and Ridley, like those characters. So, Shantae could definitely, I think, work over here. I don't know who would make more of a splash, Shantae or Phoenix Wright. Maybe Shantae, just because she's been asked for for so long. But of course, you know, there's only one other character that I know would steal the stage and make everyone at home cry. Of happiness, of course. And it's gotta be your boy, Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Oh, yo, oh, but Sora's Disney is square, this and that. Listen, all I'm gonna say is just look at the roster. Look at the roster. Sakurai has made the impossible happen more than one occasion. I really don't think it's going to be that hard for him to get Sora. All they got to do is ask. Disney said it's okay. So you just got to be like, yo, uh, Disney, can we get that boy Sora over there that you've kind of ignored since like, you know, 2004 with Kingdom Hearts 2? Like, let's be realistic. Disney has not done anything with Sora for all that time. It wasn't until Kingdom Hearts 3 where they actually started paying attention to him. Be like, oh, well, Sora, um, yeah, yeah, I guess. Let me ask Nomura real quick. Nomura, are you cool with them using Sora? Oh, uh, yeah, why not? You know, more publicity uh, for Kingdom Hearts. More people are going to buy it. Money, 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 money all the way around. Sora would make a... N I'd pay $100 just for Sora if I could be completely honest. Sora is that well-balanced character 
that is requested from like every region of the world or whatever i know there was that little um vote thing it's like the uk and japan and then the us they all like sora even though it was only 400 people hey still out of 400 people sora was like the top one for all of them except for like lloyd was one of them doesn't matter the fact that sora was still up there just like it can happen it really can happen sakurai has done the impossible multiple occasion him adding sora into this game would just be like yo wow that'd, that'd be amazing sakurai said it like you know he wants to add more um game worlds um into this game and not to mention you no know, reggie said like hey you will see characters that you've never seen before that's why i think like i'm pretty sure lloyd was a costume so i don't really think lloyd's gonna be a character i think like you know sora that that he would be the winner. Sora would be the big dude. And I'm not going to be going over all the details. Because I just watch any Kingdom Hearts Sora for Smash video. They'll tell you, you know, Disney's fine with it. We don't need the Disney characters, blah, 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 blah. But, oh, but by not having Disney characters, it's not really Sora. Sora doesn't really need the Disney characters. Kingdom Hearts is enough on its own to, like, you know, be itself. Oh, but you got the Mickey Mouse keychain. Try to convince people about Sora. It's kind of a headache now and then. Oh, you end up saying the same thing all over again. All I'm going to say... Sakurai has done amazing things before him adding Sora I really I can see it happening I really don't think it'll be that big of an issue between Disney and Nintendo I mean not to mention it's all about money at the end of the day if Sora's gonna make money yeah they can make it happen so yeah of course so guys um that is basically it for this video oh yeah someone's gonna say wait what about uh, my, uh steve from minecraft and um master chief or whatever well we kind of already have banjo kazooie so that's why people are like well yeah we're not gonna get them because we already have an xbox character oh but we, we already have um the hero so why would we get sora because he's a square enix character technically he's disney yeah, but he's technically square too see this is why i was so upset when urchin got in because i was like damn it now we're gonna have this debacle meant that Sora is Square and Disney or whatever, but whatever. Sora can happen. It, it's, if, it, if it doesn't happen as a fifth character, I totally see it happening in the second one. The second one, definitely for sure. I think at this point, it's really 50-50. I'm still leaning a little bit more towards um, him being in the second fighter pass. But guys, other than that, that was basically it for this video. Once again, though, all the deconfirmed characters were just leaked. So it is, it is entirely possible that one of the deconfirmed characters might actually be the fifth character. Please, Dante. Please, Dante. Let me get Dante in this. Um, so guys, you know, what I want to know in the comment section below is, you know, hey, out of all the deconfirmed characters, which one did you really want? And of course, out of all the characters, I'll there in the world who do you want to be the fifth and final character and of course just a character in general who do you want to be in super smash brothers ultimate so guys if you like the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up as that really helps me out you aren't already you can follow me on twitter same thing as my youtube channel which is ed the wiz i'm also on instagram which is matt swag 12345 where i post all the good stuff so until next time guys i'm gonna go ahead and say bye pal we'll see you soon <laughs> come on sora <laughs> i'm gonna cry i'm telling you